It's mid-June and one of the most prolific hatches at the moment is certainly the blue-winged olives. A fly that uh, will carry us through for uh, the next few weeks and as soon as the, the, the fish start switching onto them they, be, they can become really preoccupied so um, you know you, you miss out if you miss out on them then uh, you can miss out on a lot of sport. They can soon switch uh, literally overnight from for example olive uprights onto the blue winged olives if you don't recognize the switch over uh, then again you can just be casting 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 without any uh, any reaction from the fish uh, until you realize they've gone onto the blue winged olives and they come in a range of different sizes even on my home river you can have different sections of the river for example upper versus middle have different slightly different sizes of blue winged olives they may that may sound a bit strange but I, I assure you that is the case um, and and also at different times of the season so I tend to find the early part of the season they tend to be bigger versus the later part of the season I'm going to tie it here for you on a size 18 uh, this is a partridge SLD2 that's uh, 16s and 18s those would be your two main sizes for your blue winged olives uh, those two sizes should carry, carry you through well so I've got a size 18 in the vise here and I'm using a Vivas, uh, like a primrose colour in 16.0. To be honest I tend to use this thread in 14.0, 16.0 for most of my most of my dries. So it's going to catch that in like so, snip off the excess. For the purpose of video I probably should have used the size 16, uh, it would be easier for you to see and probably easier for me to tie but there you go everybody likes a challenge uh, for the tail actually for the tail and the the head tackle it's like a a cree uh, like a, a gingery uh, like a gingery cape I'm using the same just got some of the feathers from the uh, fibers from the back end of the cape for the tail just put that in take that down just a few fibers don't go too heavy and as always just kick take one turn behind just to kick that tail up slightly snip off the excess tidy that up dubbing I've got a it's more of a uh, well they call it actually this one is actually called uh, blue winged olive by it's the uh, nature spirit so it's a it's, it's kind of a, a mid olive I would say um, not that you have to be that precise just gonna take try and taper it in so it start off quite fine and just build it up towards the thorax just really sparse to begin with and then just building it up towards the thorax like so take off any excess what I then do is just take the thread down loose turns and then just bring it back up that kind of breaks the body up slightly uh, but also creates a, a bit of a rib to help protect the body so I've got a really fine hackle here tie that in there like so and then the wing so we've got a, a couple of CDC plumes and our size 18 one or two CD plumes uh, depending on the size of the CDC I've actually got a couple of pretty small ones here so I'm using uh, two and line them up and try and get the always try and use that natural curvature of the feather and I'm going to protrude that out, measure it up, like so. A couple of turns, test it, a little bit long, pull it back slightly. Perfect. A couple of turns to secure it, and then take a couple of turns on the other side just to kick it up, like so. 
snip off the excess as close as you can what we need to do now is some dubbing I've got some um, pine squirrel there's some pine squirrel dubbing on the bigger sizes I would do fox squirrel on the smaller sizes I use pine squirrel just a loose dub just one twist is more than enough and you don't need too much just leave it really loose a couple of turns either side of the CDC like so and then you just through to the hackle and the hackle is two turns on the rear side of the CDC and one turn on the front and that is the fly okay so literally I'm gonna do one turn two turns kick that wing back do one turn in front and that is it so bring that thread up and over to secure it like so brush everything back just give you a tying off point kick that back bring in the hackle players uh, the whip finish a couple of turns and you'll see I left that hackle in place and did the whip finish first the reason why is when you're brushing everything back the um, uh, to, to do the whip finish rather than having uh, a stem a short stem section to contend with in, in here is better to leave the the hackle long because then you can actually hold it and brush it back when you're tying off and that's the fly finish so that's the a little blue winged olive pattern that served me served me really well uh, really really simple uh, it's basically a, you know that base pattern uh, covers me for virtually all of my olives I just cut uh, arrange uh, sorry um, change the size of the hook and the color of the the dubbing and the hackle uh, but the the base dressing itself is consistent what I then do is I clip the underside of the hackle so they actually get uh, a fly that's resting more in the surface film rather than on the surface film so you probably just see that there and that's the fly done so tie a few up and I uh, hope they bring you bring you some luck throughout the summer months tight lines